And hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for Tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at GIMP, the free image editing software, and showing you how to create reflections very easily, very quickly. Now this works with other text, with objects, with renders, with backgrounds. The technique pretty much works for everything. So hopefully you'll understand it, it isn't too difficult at all. All I've created so far is a, a new document. I've just created a document with a random size. I clicked File New and I created this. Uh, just a quick note for those of you who are subscribed to my channel and are waiting for an Adobe After Effects tutorial. We're actually going to have an After Effects tutorial coming next video. It's a really cool tutorial. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. So to first, the, the first thing you need to do is obviously create some text or import your layer or whatever you're working with. Make sure you have it in one layer. It's very important. Don't have the layer merged down to the background and make sure that whatever you're reflecting is in one layer. So I've actually went ahead and already um, just, you know, I've, I've already done some stuff. I just I already created my text and I went ahead and also added a gradient here and a black stroke as well. Now, what you'll see here is that I have two layers here. I have the, uh, the text layer here. And then I also have, um, let me go ahead and fill this in. Okay, so I have my text layer here, and I also have my outer stroke layer here. If we zoom in here, you'll see it. So if you want to have a reflection on both of these, you need to make sure that it's merged down. And the same thing works for if you're working with um, objects around this, you know, if you have a character on this side, or you have an icon on this side, and you want to reflect the icon and the text, then you're going to need to make sure it's in one exact layer, or the reflection won't work. Now, once you've done this, what you want to do is duplicate this layer. Whatever you want to reflect needs to be duplicated. And once we have it duplicated, you can go ahead and go over here and grab the tool and grab this tool right here, the flip tool. And make sure that you have it set to vertical. And this will basically flip your text around. Now go ahead and grab your move tool right here. And what you want to do is just move it down with your arrow keys don't move it down with your mouse because you may you may mess up the positioning so just move it down with your arrow keys to be more accurate and here's where you can sort of decide how high you want the text to be usually when we have text that has a reflection that's very close to the original uh the height where this text is standing on top of is not very high the further away your reflection is the higher in 3D space your text is. So um, this is sort of up to you if you wanna have the, the reflection close or further away, that's gonna be up to you. I'm gonna put it right around here. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and right click uh, this uh, the, the reflected layer, which is the um, one that's upside down. I wanna go ahead and click add layer mask right here. And then we want to make sure that from this box, this box of selections, we have white full opacity selected and go ahead and click add. Now we want to go ahead and uh, grab our blend tool or our gradient tool here and make sure that your foreground color is set to black to changes. All you got to do is double click this box and change it to black. And then for your blending mode, you want to make sure your blending modes right here. You want to make sure this is set to foreground to transparent, which is the fifth one. After that, what you want to do is once again, this is going to be up to you. There's no um, real standard way to do this, but all you have to do is basically make a line from the bottom of the text and hold down control. If you hold down control, this will basically make sure your, your line is straight. You hold down control and just uh, drag the line up. Now you'll see that we start to get a fade at the bottom of the text here. And notice that the more, the higher we go, the larger the fade is. If we only go a little bit like that, there's only a small fade. So this is up to you how how intense you want the fade. What I like to do and what a general rule really is for me is start a little bit below the layer and then just go about halfway or a little bit above halfway. Um, that's usually what I do, but because we have such we have such vibrant colors. You may need to do it a little more. So maybe like that. That looks pretty good to me. Just mess around with uh, those settings right there. You know, try to find which you like best. 
After you've done that, you want to go ahead and go to your opacity up here. Make sure you still have this layer selected here. And um, you can just move the opacity up and down depending on how you want it. Um, generally, 50% always works for me. Yeah, 50%. There we go. And that's basically how you create a reflection. Now, you can also go ahead and just merge everything down here. Merge down. And you'll basically have one layer that you can then move around. And uh, this is basically how you can reflect text. The same works if you have an object or a logo on this side. It basically works the exact same way. Um, if you have uh, different logos in different positions, uh, one, one thing that will not work for this method is that if you have a text, for example, here in the middle, and then you have, say, say you have an object up here, right? And you have an object up here or even better you have an object up here uh, the gradient tool is not going to work you can't merge these three layers down because they're not in a straight line they're not next to each other basically in this case you would have to do it uh three individual times now if they were to be next to each other like so and uh, like so then you could do it very easily if they're next to each other but if they're in if they're in different portions of the image like up here the gradient tool is not going to work if you do it in one layer just be aware of that when you're creating your reflections you have to make sure that they're either next to each other in the same line or you'll have to do it separately if they're in different portions of the image like so hopefully you understand the tutorial hopefully you found it helpful if you have any questions or comments definitely in the comments section below if you have any requests for videos i have plenty of uh, gimp videos made by now i've pretty much gone over almost everything so go ahead and check that out if you have not seen it yet, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so and I'll probably leave a link to the GIMP playlist on the screen right now with an annotation and a card. That'll be for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.